Hello Crafty Family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY projects, we will be creating 5 awesome crafts that you can make using items from the Dollar Tree. Now these are quick and inexpensive to make and you can easily customize them to give as great gifts. Now I do want to give a special thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video and helping me provide you all with the tools and knowledge to help you recreate these as well. Now before we start, I have to say hey hey to all of my subscribers and if you're a new visitor to my channel today, I hope you consider subscribing as well and stick around to enjoy seeing how you can create these easy gifts and home decor as well. So now, let's just jump right into those projects. Now to make these projects today, I will be using my Cricut Explorer 2, but you can use a Maker or a Joy. I'll also be using my Light Grip Cricut Mat. And I'll be using a variety of premium vinyl by Cricut and also Cricut Transfer Tape. And also a variety of Cricut tools to help me adhere my decals. Now this project is a pair of summer mason jars. Now we're going to be using the smaller version of the mason jars with handles from the Dollar Tree. Now we're going to open up Cricut Design Space and we are going to select our design. So we're going to go in our images and we're going to search pineapple. I think pineapple will be my theme for these projects. So I'm going to select a pineapple that I like and then add it to my page. So now that we added it in, the first thing I want to do is to group it all together and weld it because this is two separate cut images. So I wanted one solid pineapple for my project. Now I did want to split my pineapple in half. So what I'm going to do is put a square on the screen and resize it and place it into a rectangle in the center. Now when you do this, you're just going to group it all together and then slice it and all of those pieces will come apart individually and leave a gap in your pineapple so you can place a name. Now I did want some bars kind of um, separating the top half and bottom halves of my pineapple. So I'm going to pull a square in again and I'm going to shape it into a really narrow line and I'm going to place one right at that top cut edge. And then once I get that to size, I'm just going to make a duplicate copy and then place one along that bottom cut edge so it's nice and clean. Now once that's done, I am going to go ahead and weld this all together. So now we're ready to put a name on our pineapple and the last name that I'm going with today is going to be Bailey. So I'm just going to type out the name Bailey. And then I'm going to select a font and I went in there and chose La DTC Lemonade. I will put it in the description box. This is a Cricut font. I really like this one and you see that Cricut now automatically kerns it, but the B and the A were a little too close for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup it and then put a tiny space in between the B and the A and then I'm going to group it all back together and then weld it, weld all that together to make one solid word so there's no cuts. So now we're just going to place that the word Bailey in between the cut between the pineapple and just resize it to fit. Now once it's all fit and good, it's fitting in there, it's good to go. We're going to make sure that's all welded together as well. Now once that's welded, what we're going to do is we're just going to make a duplicate because we are going to be um, making two of the mason jars. So you just want to size it, make sure it's the right size, check your cutting mat. And then if it looks good and it's to the size that you need, we are going to go ahead and select to make it and cut it. Now I'm going to choose my material. Now for all of these projects today, I will be using a Cricut's Premium Vinyl. So I'm just typing in Premium Vinyl in the search box and I'm going to select it. Now my Cricut Air 2 is on the custom setting, so I'm all, always going to be able to choose my materials as I go. You're just going to make sure your cutting settings are good and we are going to move forward. So now I'm just taking my Cricut Lightweight Mat and I'm going to take some of my Cricut Premium Vinyl in this beautiful blue aqua color for my project. So I'm just going to insert it into my Air 2 machine and I'm going to load the mat in and then select to cut my patterns.
Now here is everything nice and cut in the pattern. So we are ready to cut it out. Now in order to conserve some of my vinyl, what I like to do is just to take my X-Acto knife and then cut out both of them in a square and then remove all of the excess vinyl off the mat and save that for a later project. So now we're going to start weeding. So I'm using my weeding tool to remove all of the excess vinyl around my pattern, being careful around the intricate details of the pineapple. And then once that main piece is removed, we're going to remove all the inserts of all of the lettering. Now here's everything all nice and weeded out and ready to go. So now what I'm going to do is take some Cricut transfer tape and I'm going to cut a piece to fit over both of my pineapples. I'm going to lay it over very carefully and I like to do this in the taco method starting from the center and working the way out and then I'm going to smooth it all in place and make sure that you use your scraper tool to bond them all together. And once that's nice and scraped, go ahead and re remove it from your mat and cut your two pineapples apart. So I'm just protecting my mat with the sheet that came with it and now we can continue to add these to our mason jars. Now before you add any kind of vinyl to your jars or glass, you definitely want to give them a good clean with alcohol and make sure it is a lint free cloth that you're using. So now we're going to carefully peel away the backing of the vinyl so that your uh, vinyl will be on your transfer tape. And then you're going to take your mason jar and carefully apply that vinyl on the front of it, just making sure it's nice and centered. We're going to go ahead and scrape it into place, ensure there's a good bond and carefully peel off that transfer tape. So here is what one of the jars looks like and we're going to repeat this for your second one. And here are what both of my mason jars look like. I think the transfer went perfect. It looks awesome. So now they are ready to use and oh my goodness, I absolutely love how they turned out. Now I'm really loving the pineapple theme in these and it definitely reminds me of summer days. Now these are going to make an awesome gift and I really cannot wait to make more of these for the rest of my family. Now if you want a fancier look, I'm going to make some summer wine glasses. Now I'm going to be using these stemless wine glasses from the Dollar Tree and these are available in glass and acrylic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these glasses and I'm going to use the same decal I did for my mason jars. Now for this project I am going to be using a bright yellow colored premium vinyl by Cricut and I'm just going to insert it into my machine. Now we already previously loaded our design from our mason jars, so we're just going to go ahead and cut it out. And so now our design is all cut. So we're going to start, we're going to go ahead and weed everything out and then cover it with our transfer tape and cut it out until we have our two individual pineapple pieces. So now we're just going to apply them to our stemless glasses. Now when applying these, we do want to cut snips around the design because these stemless glasses are round. Now we're just going to apply it nice and centered. Now we do want to apply the center first and then smooth out from the center to make sure your design is nice and even and it eliminates any wrinkles and bubbles. Then we're going to make sure we burnish it with our tool to make sure everything is nice and flat and adhered and then remove the strips of the transfer tape. So here's one wine glass and now we're just going to repeat it until we have a set. Now here are the wine glasses all completed with the pineapple decor. Now I think that this bright yellow is amazing for summer and it looks perfect on these wine glasses. Now this would be super sweet as a gift for a new couple or even an anniversary. Now you all have to let me know which ones do you love more, the mason jars or wine glasses. This project is for a pair of summer palette coasters. Now we're going to need two of these miniature palettes from the Dollar Tree. Now we're going to be using that same welded pineapple and the same welded Bailey name from our previous project. 
Now we're going to make sure we have two of the pineapples, but we do want to multiply the Bailey name by four because I'll put, be putting two of these on each one of my palettes. Now once everything looks good, go ahead and click make it. Make sure all the sizes and dimensions will fit your project. So now I'm going to use that beautiful bluish green color again of my premium vinyl by Cricut, insert it into the machine, and I'm going to print every or cut everything out of the vinyl. So now everything is nice and cut. So first of all, I'm going to remove all of the excess vinyl and set it to the side and make sure all the cuts are nice and smooth before you start to weed it away. Now here is my design all weeded and the inside of the letters and here is what it looks like. So go ahead and apply your transfer tape. Now once your transfer tape is applied and you cut the pieces apart, we can now apply them to the palettes. Now you're just going to carefully remove the backing to that premium vinyl and then sit your pineapple right in the center on the top of the palette. Now you want to make sure this is burnished really well to the raw wood. So now I'm going to go in with my X-Acto knife and I am cutting out the centers of all those slits, removing the excess, making sure I cut away along that vinyl. This way, when you remove your adhesive tape or your transfer tape, you'll notice that the strips come off along with it and it's a nice and clean cut. So now I'm going to cut out two of those names and what I decided to do was to add one in the bottom left corner and one in the top right corner of each one of my palettes. You just want to carefully remove the lettering with that transfer tape and place one in each corner. Make sure it's nice and burnished to the wood. And then you want to carefully remove all of that transfer tape. And here's what one of your coaster palettes will look like. Now you're just going to repeat this for your second one until you have a two piece set. And here are my two palette coasters with my customized pineapple theme. They are so adorable. Now these palettes from the Dollar Tree make the perfect decorative coasters. And they match with the glasses as well, making them a beautiful part of the set. Let me know what you think of these cute little coasters. This project is for a summer ice bucket. Now we're going to need one of these clear acrylic type container ice buckets from the Dollar Tree. Now we're going to use that same welded pineapple and the same Bailey name and we're just going to resize everything. We're going to resize the pineapples to fit the side of our ice bucket and we're going to resize the uh, Bailey name to actually fit on the front and back of my bucket. Now I wanted one pineapple on each side and I wanted one of the Bailey names on each side of my bucket. Now you don't have to have the name on both sides. It was just a personal choice, but just design it however you wish. So now I'm just shifting things around to make sure they're going to fit on my vinyl. So once everything really looks good, go ahead and click make it. You want to see how everything is laid out because I'll be using two different colors of vinyl for this project. So I'm going to use the yellow for the pineapple and that bluish green for my Bailey name. And I'm just going to cut it out on my Cricut machine. So now everything is nice and cut out on my machine and I'm just going to start by weeding it all. And once everything is nice and weeded, here's what it looks like. And now I'm just going to apply my transfer tape. So now that my transfer tape is all applied, you do want to make sure it's nice and burnished on and then remove it from the mat. Now cut everything apart because we will be applying these all individually. Now you do want to make sure all your pieces are nice and burnished together. And what I like to do is prepare by removing all of my strips and setting them to the side until I'm ready to use them because I want to apply them all at once. And this is completely optional. So now I'm just grabbing my container and I'm going to remove all of the stickers and labels and clean it well with alcohol and a lint free cloth. And then I'm going to lay a cloth down on the table to keep the bucket from moving around while I apply all my decals. And I'm going to start with the Bailey name, just centering it on the front and then 
um, starting from the middle and working the way out. Now, once you do get it in place, just go ahead and burnish all those letters in place just to make sure you don't have any air bubbles or anything like that. And like I mentioned before, I'm going to put it on both sides of mine. So I'm going to do the same thing on the back. Now, once the sides are done, I am just going to tilt it over to the side and I'm going to add a pineapple on each one of those sides. Now I'm going to do this the same way, starting by laying it in the middle and out and then burnishing that image right on to that bucket. Now here is everything all applied and burnished on. So now we can start by removing all of our transfer tape off all of our images. And then we're going to repeat that all the way around until all of our pieces are nice and secured and they look great. And so now you can use your decorative bucket in your summer decor. Now I really love all the coordinating details in all of these pieces. And the personalization always makes the recipient feel really special. Now whether it's ice or other summer items, it would look great in your indoor or outdoor space. Let me know what you think about this project. Now this project is for a summer tray. Now we're going to need one of these trays from the Dollar Tree. Now we're going to use that same template from our wine glass decor and we are just going to size it to our tray and use this beautiful yellow vinyl. Now once it's all cut out from our vinyl, we're going to go ahead and cut off all of the excess and save all of the extra peeling it off our mat. And then we're going to go ahead and weed our design, being careful to get around all of those intricate details very carefully. And now we're just going to apply our Cricut transfer tape right over the image in a taco style. Make sure that it's nice and burnished to the actual vinyl and then we can start to um, burnish the back as well. So now we're going to take our tray. We've already cleaned the surface with alcohol and a lint-free cloth. Go ahead and remove the backing from your vinyl and then carefully center and place it onto the tray in a taco style starting in the center and then work your way out. We want to use that definitely use that Cricut tool to actually smooth everything out and make sure it's nice and bonded without any bubbles and then remove that transfer tape. And here is your finished tray. Now this has to be one of the easiest upgrades that you can do to a Dollar Tree tray. Now I love the color of this tray and that pop of yellow really looks amazing on this. And who doesn't love a little bit of personalization? So now you're ready to serve your beverages or offer snacks of your choice on this beautiful tray. Now this project is a set of summer throw pillows. Now for this project, we're gonna need one of these dishcloths from the Dollar Tree and a loose piece of fabric that I had on hand. Now I'm gonna lay out my grid mat and then grab my dish towel and I'm gonna remove all of the packaging and all of the tags. Now what I'm gonna do is fold it equally in half, making sure all the edges are nice and aligned. Now I wanna divide this in half and you could do this with scissors or I'm gonna use a rotary cutter. Now the Dollar Tree has their own version of this too, so you could give that a try. So now we have two equal halves. So now I'm gonna grab that extra piece of fabric that I have and I'm gonna lay that half of the dish towel on top. Now my fabric is double folded, so there is two layers. Now I'm just gonna cut around that square the same size of my half of a towel. And once that's done, we'll have two equal halves of the fabric. Now I'm gonna remove one of those layers and set it to the side. And then what I'm gonna do is put the two good sides of the fabric and the towel together and lay them out evenly on my mat. Now I'm gonna fold down one of the edges and you can adhere these by using Fabri-Tac, which is a fabric type of glue. Or for this project, I am going to be using my Surebonder fabric sticks to glue these all together. And of course, sewing is always the best option. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my Surebonder fabric glue and I'm going to start applying a bead of it along the edges about a quarter of an inch from each edge. Now what I want to do is I just want to add small two or three inch sections at a time all the way around and I'm going to do it for the top and the sides leaving the bottom open. So now for the bottom, we're going to go in about a third of the way on each side, leaving an opening in the minute, middle. So I'm just going to add more of that Surebonder fabric stick on each side. Now each side is done and now you see you have a nice opening and the glue is now dry. Now we're just going to repeat this for that second half of the towel the same exact way. And so now this one is done as well and now you have your two pillow forms. So I'm going to go ahead and start stuffing my pillow and the stuffing I like to use is stuffing from a body pillow from Walmart. I just find it cheaper to get it that way than in polyfill. So I'm flipping my co cover the right side out and then I'm taking some of that fill and I'm filling in my pillow forms. Now I like to fill in the corners first and then fill in the middle. It just seems like a more even fill. So once it's filled to your liking, you'll have that opening at the bottom. So we want to kind of crease in the bottom edges so they'll lay flat together and then apply a bead of your glue of choice along that inner fold and then pull the seam tightly together. You'll notice it'll bond straight together. You just want to kind of pinch those seams together until that glue bonds and you could use the assistance of some of those Dollar Tree clips as well and that holds it into place. Now you want to hold those in for about two or three minutes and then that seam is nice and bonded and you have a nice cute little throw pillow. Now you can just repeat this for your second form until you have two complete pillows and they look adorable. Now how do you like these two amazing pillows for your covered outdoor or indoor space? Now these towels were definitely the inspiration for this video and I love this pineapple theme. Now I think these complete the set for the pineapple summer project, but you guys have to let me know which one of these DIYs was your favorite today. Be sure to let me know in the comments below. Listen, I hope that you found this video helpful today and that you're excited about customizing and creating your own decor, gifts, and so much more. Thank you again for Cricut for sponsoring today's video and be sure to check out all the details about the Cricut machine, materials, tools, and much more in the description box below. Now, as always, if you want to keep up with all of my creations, make sure that you're following She's So Craft DEE on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Now, if you're all about making high-end DIYs on a budget, make sure you're subscribed by clicking my subscribe button below or just click on my She's So Crafty logo on your screen and make sure you hit that bell to be notified when the next DIY goes live. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.